My name is Mr. Ishengoma. Today we are going to look at sequencing and mainly we want to find how do we get the nth term formula. In brief, the nth term formula, this is a formula that is generated to help us to find very far terms in a given sequence. Now, we have got two examples today to demonstrate on how we can generate the nth term formula. Our first example, we have a sequence 2, 4, 8, 16. First and foremost, we use the general formula that is a <coughs> n square plus b n plus c. This is the general formula that can give me any sequence. Now, n stands for any term in a sequence. Therefore, if I want the first term, I will make n1. And remember, when I make n1, it should give me my first term 2. Hence, if I make n1, I will be having a, b, and c. a, b, plus c. That should give me my first term 2. And when I need the second term, I have to make my n2. So when my n is 2, 2 squared will be 4. So I will have 4a. Plus when I make this n2, I will have 2b and c. But remember, I should get my second term and that is 4. For the third term, I can make n3. When I make n3 square, it will be 9, so I get 9a. When I make n3, it will be 3b plus c. Remember, when I make n3, it means I'm looking for the third term, and my third term is 8. Now I have formulated three equations with three unknowns, A, B, and C. I can use calculator to solve them simultaneously and I get the value of A, B, C. But if I don't want to use calculator, I can do manual. First, I can find the value of A. I get the differences from term to term, and I get the second difference, and once the second difference is the same, I take the second difference divided by 2 is 1, and it gives me my A, sorry, as 1. So, I've already got my A as 1. After getting my value of A, I can substitute in the first two equations. If I substitute A here, I get 1. So it is 1 plus B plus C is equal to 2. So when I get this 1 and I take the other side, it will subtract. Hence, I have B plus C is equal to 1 as my first equation. Then I get A, I get A as 1 again. I subtract, I substitute here. I will get 4. So it will be 4 plus 2b plus c is equal to 4. When I take this for this side, it will give me 0. Hence I will have 2b plus c is equal to 0. Now, this is my first equation. This is my second equation. That is b plus c is equal to 1. 2b plus c is equal to 0. 
Then I can solve them simultaneously. I can eliminate C. 1 minus 2, I get negative B. 1 minus 1 is gone. 1 minus 0 is 1. So when I divide by negative 1, and I divide by negative 1, I get my B as negative 1. Hence, my B would be negative 1. Since I get my B, so I can substitute on one of the equation, that is B plus C is equal to 1, and my B is negative 1, so negative 1 plus C is 1. If I take 1 this side, it will become positive, then 1 plus 1 will be 2, and my C will be 2. So, I have worked out all A, B, and C. Hence, finally, I just substitute them in my general formula. A is 1, so I will have n squared. B is negative 1, so I will have minus n. And C is 2, so I will have plus 2. Hence, this will be our nth term formula. Remember, once you have the general formula, you can create three inequalities, and the easiest way is to start the first one, the second one, and the third one from your sequence. And once you get them, once you get the three inequalities, sorry, once you get the three equations, you can straight away put them in your calculator, place the function of solving simultaneous equation of three unknowns, and straight away it will give you the value of A, the value of B, and the value of C. Normally, in the calculators, it shows A as X, B as Y, and C as Z. So once you get them, you just substitute in our statement and get the answer. Let's look at second example. We have 10, 14, 22, and 34. Remember, our general formula starts with a n square b n plus c. And remember, for the first term, n is 1, so when you substitute 1, we get a plus b plus C, and it should give our first term. And according to our sequence, our first term is 10. For the second term, our N will be 2. 2 square for A, 2 to B, and C. Remember, when we make N 2, we are looking for the second term, and that is 14. When we make our N 3, 3 square, we get 9. 3, we get 3B. And C, remember, when we make N3, we are looking for the third term. And our third term is 20, 22. So, as I said before, once you create the three, inequality, three equations, you can straightforward go to your calculator and get your three answers. Remember, on the first example there, I went and I showed you how you could calculate and find the value of A, B, and C, step by step. But also, you can use calculator straightforward and get the value of A, B, and C. So, if we use our calculator straightforward, we get A represented with X, B represented with Y, C represented with Z. So once you go to a function and work it out, we shall get the value of A, B, and C. And if you use your calculator, now, I don't want to use the calculator, I want to show you step by step how we get the value of A, B, and C. Now, let's find the value of A. 
4, 8, 12. We get the second difference as 4, second difference as 4. Now, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And our A is automatically going to be 2. So we shall substitute our A here, 2. When I substitute 2, and I take 2 to the side of 10, it will subtract, and I will get 8. Hence, I will have an equation, B plus C is equal to 8. Let's look for the second equation. If I get my A2 and I substitute here, it will be 2 times 4, and it gives me 8. So I will get 8, and I will take on the side of 14. So it will be 14 minus 8, and it will give me 6. So it will be now 2B plus C equal to 6. Hence now I have two equations that I can solve simultaneously. C is the same, 1, 1, so I can subtract to remove C. 1 minus 2, I will get minus B. C minus C, it will be 0. 8 minus 6, I will get 2. But remember, because my B is negative, so I will divide by negative 1, and here negative 1, hence my B will now be negative 2. So my B is negative 2. To get C, I will substitute B in one of the equations. So B is negative 2. C is equal to 8. Hence, I will take 2 to the side of 8. C will be 8 plus 2 and my C will be 10. So my C will now be 10. I have calculated for them manually. After calculating for them, I substitute them to my initial general statement. A is 2. So A is 2. I will get 2n square. 2n square. B is minus 2. So I will put here minus 2 and I will get minus 2n. Remember my C is 10. So I will remove C and I keep 10. This is how we find any term in a given sequence. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.